In this video, I'll be performing a look back review of the Geronimo's performance during Q2 of 2020. My intention is to keep these review videos down to three minutes or less, so I'll go through this information quickly. Now before we start looking at the results, I'd first like to review the risk disclosure. Please remember that past performance is not indicative of future performance. Trading futures and options involves substantial risk of loss and it's not appropriate for all investors. AlgorithmicTrading.net is not a CTA. These algorithms are traded under a letter of direction using NFA registered brokers. Refer to CFTC Rule 4.41 which explains the limitations of simulated or hypothetical performance results. The following graphic highlights the Geronimo trading system. You'll note that it trades three algorithms, the day trade long, day trade short, and the weekly put spreads. The Geronimo trading system was put together in January of 2022 to provide my customers the trading system that did its best to reduce the month to month volatility while also keeping gains intact. This was done by taking the day trades from the pro trader and adding them to the wave trader options program while also removing the double up options trades. In April, May, and June of 2020, the market saw a fairly intense rally as the market rebounded off the pandemic lows seen in March of 2020. Here are the returns that the hypothetical account saw during the period of April, May, and June of 2020. Returns seen would have amounted to approximately $2,826 gained per $15,000 traded. This equates to a gain of 18.84%. The hypothetical account would have increased from $15,000 to $17,826. In this period, we saw 11 day trades and 17 put spreads, giving us a combined total of 28 trades. Now I would like to review a handful of the trades seen in April, May, June of 2020. Beginning with the put spreads, you'll see that the market steadily climbed higher and multiple trades were executed. April was profitable, however May and June the put spread struggled a bit more. This was due to the increased volatility as the effects of the pandemic continued to put pressure on the market. The day trades also had an incredible April. Their positive returns were led by a trade we saw on April 6th and also on April 29th. Notice that in April we actually had three winners and five losing trades. This algorithm still was profitable because it will let the winners run and the stop is very tight, keeping our losses minimized. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope it's been helpful to see how the individual algorithms traded back in Q2 of 2020 and how collectively the trading system as a whole would have performed had it been actively trading during this period. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.